Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. It has been one of the slowest weeks of FC24, literally in the entire year of this game. It has been so slow, but it's all because we've been waiting and ready for today. Team of the season starts today, guys. It is finally time for us to chase the blues in all these packs that we have been saving. Team of the season live cards are today. It's nice to get excited about something, but... I know not everybody is the most excited. Will EA bring the hype today, or will they find a way to make this promo kind of mid? I want to talk about that in today's video, and really how the market's going to react, how this game is going to react to the beginning of Team of the Season. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, and subscribe if you're new. Now, we do have to talk about a few things that are impacting the game today that happened yesterday. First of all, yesterday's content, very, very slow day, but that's honestly, you think about it, right? In the grand scheme of things, to be expected. It's going to be a pretty quiet day right before we have the beginning of team of the season. We did have a player of the month for Girassi. It is a 40,000 coin SBC. If that card interests you, go ahead and get it done. At least it's only one squad. That is nice. And we did have marquee matchups per usual, which is actually a little more expensive this week. I think it's coming in at 16,000 coins. Usually marquee matchups is like 8,000 coins to do, but they do give you a tradable 50,000 coin pack. The biggest thing from yesterday on Thursday was the update to Foot Champs Weekend League rewards, which we are playing for these rewards today, guys. When Foot Champs start again at a delayed time, but it is worth noting that the live TOTS cards that are going to be in packs today, we will be playing Foot Champs for today in rewards rank five is two one of three player picks and then of course the same tradable packs that you normally get 85 double 50k 125 at rank four you get an untradable rank four is like if you're somewhere between 11 wins and 14 wins try to get that 14 it's going to be a grind it's going to be tough because everybody's going to be playing champs but the 14 win threshold gives you a better player pick one of four you get two of them you also get the untradable live tots three players pack so from the current promo of tots you're going to get an untradable three players pack and for ranks three two and one you are getting that live three player pack but it's tradable so it's basically the exact same rewards as last year i think when ea first put these out yesterday they all said untradable and people are kind of up in arms about that i would have totally understood the frustration but to be completely honest these rewards are almost the exact same as last year with kind of like this year's twist on them, right? The 85.5 being in there, the 87 times two for rank one. So it is a weekend to full send the champs. And again, I say weekend for foot champs, right? But it's actually like almost five days, it feels like. We'll be playing foot champs on Tuesday at the beginning of next week because of how long champs is open because it is extended. So that was kind of the biggest news yesterday. There really was not a lot of content. It was those weekend league rewards that were the biggest thing to be talking about one other small minor detail ea posted such a random tweet yesterday i don't know who took over their twitter but ea said you can add one brand new hero comment who you want to add to your future dream squad i don't know if this is just admin took over and they're trying to be fun and do some humorous stuff here or if this is actually a little bit of a hint and an easter egg into maybe them dropping a new hero on this game I don't know. So we'll have to see. Just remember that. Remember that, that happened. I responded with, don't add a hero, add Zlatan. Um, man, I, I just missed Zlatan in this game. I know he just kind of retired and everything, and we didn't get that end of an era last year that we really were really wanting to have. But also people say that there's some like things with his rights and everything that he doesn't agree with EA or doesn't want to partner with them. I don't know. But that tweet, I thought, was very, very interesting yesterday. And I just miss using Zlatan in this game. What a legend. Probably should be an icon. But regardless... Let's talk about today, guys. What's going down today? Well, we finally get to open some of our packs, and we're excited because it's team of the season. Live TOTS cards are here, all right? It is time to see the team of the season blue flare from our packs. I'm going to check, is the card design actually in the game? Because it's been added to the back end. Whoa, okay, the TOTS champs red design is here, but not the normal TOTS design. Okay, I'm ready, man. I am so ready to see TOTS cards in packs and TOTS cards in rewards and on the market and in teams, man. And today, these are the cards that we are getting. We've looked at the leaks. We've talked about them. I want to breeze through them today just so we can catch you guys all up to speed. This is the team of players 
Now, not all of them are going to be coming out today because as this is leaked, the guy who leaked this foot scoreboard said that the SBCs and objective players should be included. And if they probably are going to do a mini release, right? I doubt we see all these players today, but in total, that is a massive team. Even if we get a player SBC every single day, that is a massive team of players that is coming out today. Again, headlined by Modric, Romero, Bruno Fernandez, Doku, Havertz, Kudus, Loftus cheek looks pretty solid. Soboslai, Rafinha, Alan St. Maximin. There's going to be some really, really exciting cards today for sure. Now, of course, we have the questions, okay? We have the questions. How high rated are these cards going to be? Is EA going to juice them up? Are we going to see the first three Playstyle Plus Tots cards today? The first three Playstyle Plus cards on the game that EA have released? Not Evo glitch cards, right? That's all the questions that we have. We don't know. But the fact that these are live and upgrading cards as adds a bit of fun today. Let's be honest, right? These cards are getting launched today with their regular boost, right? Starting off with a promo. And then for the games starting today on Friday, after today, the next four domestic league games, it's plus one for winning two games and it's plus one for scoring eight goals in the next four games. So with that being said, it's tots today, but also with cards that are going to upgrade. So those are two very exciting things happening at one time. And I know not a lot of you guys are super excited. And you're like, Nate, you're trying to make a meal of this. It's team of the season, man. I, we're all getting excited for today, regardless of how this leak look. Guys, again, this is a leak and these are predicted stats. We don't know what EA is going to do today for stats. Could the stats be very low rated and very mid because these are live cards and they have to give them room to upgrade? Absolutely, they could be. But on the flip side, these cards... Could maybe some of them have three play style pluses with the potential to upgrade and they could have some good boosts on them already. I'm looking forward to hopefully in another Modric. He better not be 93 rated because we have two 93 rated versions of Modric. Give us a 94 or I mean, if they want to go crazy, a 95 Modric today, right? Bruno Fernandez. We, a lot of people did the flashback SBC. Give us a higher rated version of him. So I'm holding out a little bit of excitement just because I want to see what EA does with this thing today and how hype they want to do it but again like we said in, in the past couple of videos with the team being this massive it looks like there's a lot of fodder in here right a lot of lower rated or at least not big name players that are going to be in this promo team right kind of comparable to a community team of the season in a sense let's be honest right community team of the season never brought all the big names that was for when the actual leagues were released like prem bundesliga during those weeks you got the big name players from each of the leagues but community tots was always just the fun start the team of the season i think this is right there with it and the cards are live on top of that so that's the biggest question today i think the pack weight and the stats are what we're really going to figure out once these cards drop in the game how hype it's going to be on the, on the day today and i do believe they're going to be packable guys i do with so many cards and packs i know i've mentioned it but just be prepared for it to be kind of like the promos that we've seen recently like fantasy fc and golazo right the lower tier cards were basically fodder price instantly because they were super duper duper packable but these tots cards there there's going to be hype for them today because some of these players have not gotten special versions in a while they're going to be boosted it up pretty high and it's just team of the season always brings hype it just always does and now you add the live aspect on top of it all right i'll stop glazing tots cards but how is ea going to shake this thing up today guys what is going to make the live tots promo different now there is a, not a true official leak but there is a little bit of a rumor there's some grumblings i've seen people talking on twitter and they're mentioning some things about who might be our SBC player today, right? As mentioned, one of the players or multiple of the players in this listing is going to be the SBC player that drops today. The rumor is, rumor has it, that Kai Havertz may be our SBC player today, which is actually kind of funny because... We literally just had the Kai Havertz Winter Wild Cards Evo that like everybody just did, which of course is a left back and it's a completely different card, position change, whatever, but you can't play with two Kai Havertz in the same team. So if you're going through this fullback swap Evo and you just got excited about this Havertz, well, maybe there's another one coming today. Who knows? Uh, that could happen. That could not happen. Last year, you saw this Araujo when I first clicked to this page. Last year on Community Tots Friday, this Araujo SBC was dropped and it was crazy. The Barca links on the market went to the moon because everybody did this SBC. The pace, the defending, the physical, the boost this card got, and the price of the SBC was 
unbelievable. This is a card that so many people went and did last year on the first Friday of Community Tots. And again, with the live aspect of these cards, could this Havertz be hyped today? There's potential for it. So just watch out for that. I mentioned that last year the Barca cards went nuts for the Araujo. Watch the Arsenal cards today, all right? All right, keep an eye on those. Men's, women's cards, uh, Saka, Mead, maybe a, a special version of Saliba, this Gabriel Jesus, right? If that is going to be an SBC that is actually dropped, there could be some movement there on those cards in the market. And I have a lot of thoughts on the market today, guys. I want to cover that in here in just a little bit. But let's talk about some other things today where EA could spice it up a bit, right? Upgrade packs. Since this is kind of like the week before we get all the other leagues starting for team of the season like the Prem and Bundesliga, whatever order they're going to go in, I think the upgrade pack section today might be a very interesting place to watch as well. Of course, don't forget your daily login. That's going to be something to do every single day still. But you have the 85 pick, the 77 e-figs that are expiring today along with some other SBCs. I think it's very important to see what EA drops in here because I could honestly see them starting to add more of those packs that maybe we wanted to see last week. Those league specific ones, maybe for Prem, for Bundesliga, for La Liga, excuse me, some of the packs that we've been wanting to see. And maybe some of them aren't even added to the code yet and they'll be coming out in this game in the next week. But I kind of see this live TOTS team promo kind of like it, it's a continuation of TOTS warm up in a sense because it's like, yay, TOTS is here, but this is different with the new live TOTS cards. And yes, it's hype, but a lot of us are still looking forward to the best of the best, the real TOTS cards. They're going to come out during the specific leagues of TOTS. So there could be more upgrade pack SBCs today that maybe you don't even want to open today for the new promo team and you want to save for a little bit later. Speaking of that really fast, what packs am I opening today? A lot of you guys have been asking me this, and I'm sure you're thinking the same question. Looking at these cards, I'm opening my eFigs packs. I didn't do very, I didn't do any, honestly, of the 77 pluses. I did all the 82 times 11s that I could. I'm going to open those 82 times 11s today because why not? I think this is the best time, honestly, to be opening those eFigs packs because you have packs from all the top five leagues and more in this promo team right here today so you might as well open those and just send them because i think you have a better chance of packing a tots card from one of those today than you would if you saved it during a normal week of team of the season i also think some of these like 85 times three defender midfielder attacker packs i'm going to open these up today as well i don't think there's too much of a sense in saving those a lot of my big packs, though, I think I'm still going to save. But I'll kind of make that decision after we see the pack weight, after we see what um, the prices are on some of the cards on the market, and we see what the boosts on the cards are as well, if there's any with three play style pluses. And if there's a good SBC player, whether it's Havertz or not, I think how good that player is and how much desire I have to start crafting other SBCs will depend on how many packs I open today. But I'm definitely not opening everything, right? I'm going to save some stuff for the future, but I will open, eh, I don't know, maybe 10 to 15 packs today. We'll see. It depends on the pack weight. So I'm putting that kind of up in the air right now. We'll just see how it looks when we actually get the content drop today. Now, one thing about SBCs I do want to mention in regarding to packs, if you go to the exchange section, something very Unfortunate, looks like it's happening today. The exchange SBCs are set to expire. Now, there are rumors. Some of the leakers on Twitter have been conversing back and forth, and it has been hinted at that these exchanges will come back. And some of the rumors are that there's no new exchanges that are going to be added. It's just the same ones, the 85 all the way up to 89 exchange, will be returning with the same packs, which I'm completely fine with. These have been unbelievable since they came out during Team of the Year, and I really hope they stay during Team of the Season because they will be needed and they will be very, very necessary and helpful in the crafting of the menus and the content grind. So watch out for those today. We'll be paying attention to see where those go and come back and if that is the case, if there's any changes. What else could shake things up today on this game, guys? There's one other part of this game that could really cause and wreak some havoc, to be honest, on the market, and it is this section of the game right here, Evos. Remember during the past couple of promos like Foot Birthday and especially during Winter Wild Cards where Evos literally crashed the market because they were so good, but they were tradable Evo, or they, they costed coins, not tradable Evos. They were Evos that costed you coins or FC points that a lot of people spent coins on to get insane cards because the upgrades were really, really good. And we, of course, for Team of the Season, we have a specific Evo design 
Does that mean there's potential for a crazy Evo today? There is. Right now, there's nothing leaked, which I'm fine with. Surprises with something insane today in Evo's EA that could make this promo even more of a dub. Maybe they won't start off with like the TOTS Evolution card design until we actually have real TOTS cards out. Uh, because right now, it's like live TOTS, right? Not the real TOTS. So, I don't know. But that's just something that could change some things on the game today so hopefully they drop a banger watch out for leaks now last place of the game we haven't talked about yet objectives they will probably drop an objective player today i'm not expecting a new cup because the tots warm-up cup is still here for another six days plenty of time to get that done a lot of other objectives are still here as well and not expiring but i do think we'll get some sort of objective player today on this game as well now with everything going on today it's been it's been a crazy ride on the market the past couple of weeks. And with everything going on today, I think we're going to have a lot of market movement, guys. A lot of market movement. And um, I think it's going to be in a pretty positive manner as well. And that's what I want to talk about today, right? We have had prices on this game dropping for the, I don't know, greater part of over a month. Like, if you take a look at some cards, of course, Team of the Year cards are a great example. You go back to the, basically a month ago, the middle of March, beginning of March, KDB was $3.6 million. Last week... He was 1.6 million, dropping 2 million coins of value in a month during Foot Birthday, Golazo, and the panic and setup before team of the season has brought us here. And he had a little bit of a bounce back, but then prices have kind of come back down again. Some cards not as low as they were, but still down a lot from where they have been. And today, everything that people were panic selling for the switch kind of flips, right? It's the same sort of scenario that we saw last year during the beginning of team of the season. But also earlier on this year during like Black Friday and, and Team of the Year where you have the big promo that everybody was looking forward to actually arrive. And then you have after that people go and open their packs and then they go back out on the market and they start buying cards. Guys, I do believe people will be opening their packs today. Some people are going to open everything because they just see TOTS cards and packs. They go straight to the store and they start ripping packs and with that being said that means more coins are going to be injected into people's accounts and with the weekend league being as hyped as it is including the tots cards and rewards and with it being after the content drop starting late compared to normal today i think it's going to be a very very interesting day on the market i actually think there's a really good opportunity to make coins and i think prices are going to rise in a lot of areas i remember last year here's just i know last year is not 100 percent comparable to this year this year just because every single year is different right but i want to show you last year what happened on this very day we had panic selling prices dropped to the community tots came out jobby last year on the friday of community team of the season i remember buying him for low to mid 500 000 coin range and that friday night into saturday he went up to actually 700 000 coins the graph from last year doesn't show it everything that went on there but there was a huge market rise on that friday basically today last year heading into tomorrow saturday of last year there was a crazy market rise this uh, darwin nunez went from 300k all the way up to 450,000 coins right before going down after that that's why i'm pretty um honestly pretty gung-ho about the market today guys i think there's a lot of player prices that have potential to go up today but i don't think it's going to be everything because at the same time everybody's opening packs they're going to go out they're going to play weekend league there's also a lot of cards that people are probably going to say, yeah, you know what? I don't want to use those anymore because we've got new live TOTS cards that are going to be out. And especially if a lot of these cards are packable and affordable and they have decent stats, that could mean that some of those middle tier cards, lower tier cards in this game, some of the players that have just been hyped up recently because they're very, very good, they might be replaced by somebody who's newer, more exciting, has the potential to upgrade as well, and maybe somebody who they just packed untradeable, right? Or you just packed untradeable after opening a few packs, can put into your team, go in the champs, and start playing with a fun new card. But that's not going to happen to everybody today. So I really believe that the market today in some certain areas, if you find the right cards, guys, and talking about finding the right cards, you want to look for something that is rare, that is popular, and that is meta. Like we talk about those words all the time when it comes to trading with cards in this game. That's why I keep mentioning the team of the years, right? The team of the years have dropped crazy, crazy amounts in value. And a 97 rated Holland or maybe a 90 whatever rated, who else do I have here that's a team of the year? 95 rated Wendy Renard. Like, how many cards are going to come out today that are going to be better than this Wendy Renard? Probably not many. One, 
if if that right so that's why i would say um watch that part of the market today your really expensive cards or just some of your more meta ones this drogba everybody wants to use this drogba right now in this game he just keeps going up in price he was like four hundred thousand coins last week he was 360k last week now he's 480 490 he might go over five hundred thousand coins later tonight like that's very very possible because so many people want to use him he's very meta he's very good um and he's also decently rare right? I think the rare meta popular cards can have a really big rebound tonight as people go out, open packs, get coins, and start building out teams to play the weekend league. So I would focus on cards from the previous multiple promos that we have had, like the Golazo promo, right? Some of these cards I picked up, as you saw on my bid list, I picked up a Charlton on bid for 810. This guy literally last week in the panic went down to 810, went back up to 1 million, and is now back down to like 850. So I was like, let me try to get a bid, give myself a little bit of a cheaper price we did boom i'm fine holding on to that card into today whatever today's content brings we'll have to decide on the fly in the twitch stream as everything goes out cheeky plug make sure you follow the twitch we'll be following the market very closely today the new tots cards will be following but also the old out of packs cards but these are the cards that really have the potential to go bananas in price if people start going back out to the market and buying cards because they don't maybe jive with the new stuff that has been dropped. 750 for Foden. Whoa, that's really cheap. Can I go take a look at this real quick? 751. Is that just sitting? 760. Okay, it got bought. That's really, really low for Phil Foden. Um, yeah, he maybe gets a Tots card, maybe in the Premier League team of the season, but that's not going to be till next week. If people want to use Phil Foden today, they got to use this version of him. So maybe Kai Havertz impacts his price a bit if he's a cam. You know, we'll have to see. But that's just, that's the type of stuff we're thinking about today, guys, with this market. When to buy is the next question, right? Um, I bought some stuff yesterday around the content drop. Today, if you don't want to risk it, you could wait until the content drop today. See what the pack weight is. See what these cards look like with the live team and the season team. Open your packs. And then in that first 30 minutes to an hour after the content drop, kind of, kind of just see what all is out there. And then from there, decide, okay, if there's a really insane SBC for, let's say, Havertz and Premier League strikers, if he's a striker, maybe you're dropping because that SBC is so good, then you wouldn't want to buy a guy like this Berbatov or some other Premier League strikers because people would be selling those to go get the new Havertz, right? That's the kind of stuff we'll be thinking through after the content drop today. But start doing a little bit of research. If there's somebody you want for your team that fits the criteria of rare, popular, and meta, even if it's a bit of a cheaper card, if it's rare, like this Casemiro is only 200,000 coins. But bro, yesterday went from 220K and I sold him at 250, 260. Um, and right now he's 265. Like some of these cards are really rare and they have great fluctuations. That is a perfect candidate, even if they're not that expensive, a perfect candidate to be trading with today on this game. But I would try to buy them guys either before content, if you want to risk it or wait until that first hour after content, because once we get close to the start of weekend league, which again is two hours after the content drop, you're going to start to see prices go up because people are going to start they're going to open their packs they're going to do an SBC do a thing or two on the game and then they're just going to be like okay I want to go play weekend league and they're going to have to wait to play weekend league so they'll buy their cards wait till weekend league starts and then once that weekend league opens up it's a mad dash boom to get games in to start playing because everybody wants to get those rewards for the team of the season cards that are in packs it's crazy guys every single year this happens past three four years it's all the same since they started putting these tots red picks in here right especially last year and, and now this year with the good design right it's a mad dash to the weekend lead to get that progress and to get those wins to try to get the rewards so that's why i really think today could be a good fun interesting day for the market and uh, i think we can make some coins but also i want you guys to be able to buy cards in the right timing right zones uh and movements inside of the market because if there's somebody that you want to pick up for your team I want you to get a good price for them uh, and not have to worry about that price at least too much, right? So again, Mia Ham, rare, popular, meta type of card, R9, Croy, those sorts of guys in this game, I would fit them in that as well. Um, if, you know, even Golden Bappe, I think Golden Bappe last year had some pretty good fluctuations um, on the market. How much is Croy right now? Croy is 800K, okay? Golden Bappe was like 550,000 coins last week and he's up to like uh, 650 now. If he were to go back down to like 600,000 coins at some point, he'd be a good buy uh, today as well because people are just going to get on the game, buy Mbappe, go play champs. So I think today's going to be a really good day for the market. Now let's talk about these TOTS cards because as much hype as there's going to be for cards that people want to buy for their teams from older promos, 
there's going to be a lot of hype for these players as well because they're brand new to the game. Everybody knows TOTS cards, fun to use, juiced in stats, right? We'll see how it pans out, of course, today. But watch these cards today as well. They might be their lowest in the first hour or two. It really kind of depends on the lightning rounds that EA drop. It really does, guys. And there are some crazy packs that are in the code. There's like a three guaranteed live TOTS pack with an 84.75 inside of it. A live TOTS player pick one of three. I don't think we're going to see all of those packs in the store today. The packs that we have to look out for are the lightning round ones that give out tradable supply. Because recently, EA has been going crazy. Look at all these lightning round packs that are, we have nothing in packs right now. And look at all these packs that are here in the store. I gotta open my 10 coin pack, almost forgot. These technically aren't lightning round packs because those have already expired, but they've been running like the 8410 lightning rounds, the 85 sevens, like what, what are they doing with just a team of the week best of in packs right now that they need to put out all these crazy packs in the store? Like who's opening some of this stuff uh, right now? I know that some of them give like old promo cards and stuff, but today there's going to be way more hype for the store because people will be trying their best to pack team of the season live players from these store packs. And if there's a lot of tradable supply from saved up packs like rivals rewards, foot champs rewards, packs that people have been saving in the past week and a half, two weeks in this game because they know TOTS is coming. You know, that's going to bring some supply to the market early on. Last year, there were some big dips in the first hour or two. And then some of the brand new TOTS cards went up in that same kind of fluctuation in time frame as the uh, out of packs cards did because people wanted to go and try the new players in weekly. I actually think I remember Kingsley Coman. I'm definitely, I'm sure it doesn't show on a footbin graph, but like this Kingsley Coman TOTS card last year was, uh, yeah, he's a, he shows 725k on that Friday. I 100% remember that this Kingsley Coman was 500k or below in the first hour last year. And I bought one, I think I bought it for like 490 and sold it for 570 30 or 40 minutes later. And he ended up going to 700,000 coins because people wanted to try out the brand new cards. But again, stick to the rare, stick to the meta and stick to the popular when it comes to those cards. So we're going to be watching the market very closely today. Gameplay for me will be kind of second tier, especially in the first couple of hours. Same for you guys, right? Nobody's going to be playing foot champs. We have to be, we have to wait until it actually opens up. So it really depends on the lightning rounds and the pack weight for that part of the market today. Last thing I want to talk about is fodder. Fodder got destroyed yesterday. Did you guys notice division rivals rewards? People must not be saving too many of their packs because 85s went all the way down to 2.7k. They rebounded really quickly afterwards, but I could see 85s going back down to this really low price today if we don't get anything crazy in terms of SBCs. And when I mean crazy, it's got to be some sort of upgrade pack that is repeatable that requires that specific rating uh, because there's going to be a lot of supply today. It's got to be something crazy to move fodder because it is TOTS Friday and it's going to be a lot of lightning rounds. Again, based on how EA been running lightning rounds recently, they've been going all out in his team this season. So, you know, they're going to be going all out. We got all those untradeable packs that we just mentioned coming out this weekend as well. Fodder doesn't look like a great investment to me at the moment. I think maybe fodder would be looked at a little bit later on, maybe at the end of the week, maybe during the weekend, uh, depending on what's going to come out and what leaks we have for SBCs. I know a lot of people are wanting to invest in Team of the Weeks and they are up a bit. They're 20,000 coins a piece. Um, so maybe there's something that like leakers know that we don't, but um, I don't think I want to invest in fodder today, guys, just because I know a lot of people are going to be opening packs. But for me, it would have to be a fodder investment after content. And if it was going to be a fodder investment, it would probably be Man, it would have to be something maybe a little higher rated because maybe people have been waiting to do Ronaldinho, Mia Ham, some of these bigger icon species. Maybe it's even like, um, you know, maybe it's Petr Cech, Zambrata, or Cantona, or Socrates they've been waiting to do, or Ribéry, right? Uh, because they've been saving packs. So maybe the fact that people are going to start opening packs today could make some fodder move. And if that's going to be your kind of thought process, I would look at 91 rated, specifically some of the out of packs cards, um, because the golds, the golds will go up as well. Um, but the, the out of packs ones maybe go up a little bit more potentially, although they have not been that rare recently. And the golds have been going a bit higher than the special cards, which is really weird. Um, I know some people have been investing in some of the informs for the best of like Ter Stegen and Diani that are going out of packs. Those could be a decent play as well as some of the cheapest 90 rated cards. 
but also an end for him. But that's just not where I would really want to put my coins today. I could see that part of the market going up, but um, I think I'd rather mess around with stuff that is kind of the special cards and that sort of thing before investing in fodder because it could get a little bit mudded, especially on the low tier. It could get mudded even more. So I think that's a good breakdown of what is going on today, guys. I'm excited to start opening packs. I'm excited to pack Team of the Seasons, man. Like, honestly, this is one of the most exciting times of the year. And it feels like this excitement of the live TOTS team feels like maybe a false start of excitement. Like, we want to get excited, but this past week has been so just mid and everything in this game has been just kind of super average for a while. Like, after Team of the Year, it's just been super average. I'm just hoping that EA does something today to revive this thing a little bit, right? They've made the right steps. Hopefully, these cards have juice ratings today. I don't know what else they get. That's their, that's their job to get us excited today. And I hope that they do that. So we'll be on stream today. We we'll covering it all as team of the season drops in FC 24. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up on the video, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been native account. I will see you guys in the stream today. Peace out.